It's a bright sunny day on the southwest coast of Ireland. These local marine researchers have taken their boat out to check on their seaweed farm. The algae they planted just a few months ago has already grown into an impressive underwater plantation. You can see quite clearly there's quite a large crop of seaweed down here. The plants are somewhere between two and three meters long. So at this stage, we're very close to harvesting. Seaweed farming is a growing business in Ireland. Demand for seaweed is increasing in sectors like healthcare and food. This is an innovative European research project to study algae as a potential biofuel crop. Seaweed doesn't require any fertilizer. Um, there's no um, space requirements either, like you would have with terrestrial crops. There's a lot of competition in terrestrial crops for crops for food. And it grows very fast. The growth cycle, it's um, fully grown in six months. Some species of algae contain sugars that can be used to produce bioethanol. Others are rich in oil that can be converted into biodiesel. Researchers are trying to make such fuels commercially viable by improving the algae growth and oil content. Along with seaweed, they're also studying microalgae, a species that grows and accumulates oil quickly when cultivated in bioreactors. It would produce between 7 and 31 times more oil than the best terrestrial crop. That's what all the um, studies have shown. Okay, there's a lot more to do, but you know, 10 years ago, people would have laughed at you if you put seaweed-based oil into your car. The biggest challenge is extracting the oil trapped in the seaweed and microalgae cells. In this laboratory, researchers treat the algae powder with large amounts of solvents to increase the release of oil, but this method isn't efficient on a large scale. Growing the algae obviously is the easy part. Um, whether it's macroalgae or microalgae that you're culturing, it's quite, quite simple to grow. Uh, the hard part is extracting the oil from the actual algae. We need to look at the cheapest way to do it, using the least amount of resources. A cheaper oil made of seaweed could revolutionize the emerging biofuel industry. This Irish plant produces 30,000 tons of biofuel each year by recycling used cooking oil, animal fats and other kinds of fats. The biofuel is blended with mineral diesel, making it more environmentally friendly. Researchers test algae oil samples with industrial grade tools. For biofuel manufacturers, developing a new product at a competitive price would help them expand production. Of course our industry is always interested in this new oil because uh, we can convert any type of oil in this process to make biodiesel. And the greener it is, the better it is for us house. Algae grows almost anywhere as long as it gets enough sunlight, water and carbon dioxide. It improves air quality by absorbing the CO2 and reduces the negative effects of fish farming by filtering out excess nutrients. The only environmental impact that you can say about the sea farm would be that it's beneficial. It's all positive. There is nothing negative about seaweed farm. I'm not saying that they will clean up the sea completely, but they do help to clean up the excess nutrients in the sea. So I like to see the seaweed as a sort of a mop, a nutrient mop. Julie, you have a bag? And harvesting seaweed to develop an alternative to fossil fuels is just one of its merits. I'm chewing it. It's quite tasty. Would you like to try some? <laughs>